All right. Good morning. Uh, since I've been having a little trouble with plugs, and while I've been out for a couple weeks on vacation and stuff, um, I have acquired a few other plugs to put in the engines to try out and see if I have better results with some of those. Uh, so here's the lineup. Um, the PK plug on the end is the one from China that comes in the engines uh, that you can order spares of from Sterling Kit or wherever you got your engines. And then these three plugs uh, were all packaged identically uh, with the smaller clear vial. The PK comes in this big uh, cloudy plastic vial. Uh, but the next three come in these clear vials with the black cap and then they each have a piece of rubber hose to protect the electrode end um, when during shipping. So I'm going to move these vials out of the way and then we will have a little more room to look at these plugs. So uh, these two plugs that are a bit more chrome finish are from Horizon Hobbies. I forget what their uh, brand is for these. Um, and they're about the same price as this RCEXL plug. This RCEXL plug is the one that some people have recommended uh, I get. Um, so I grabbed one of these. However, uh, having compared, so this is the generic one. Uh, it's stamped PK, but if you look very carefully at the insulator here and the terminal, and the electrode end on all three of these plugs, uh, even inspecting inside the electrode end. Try to lift that up and in there, that center electrode end in there is, well, this plug is filthy. Um, these plugs are all visually identical, um, aside from the two differences I found are the bit of chrome finish on the Horizon Hobbies branded plugs, and then there's variation in this tiny ring uh, just below the hex. Uh, but I think that's just a manufacturing thing because they uh, seem to be random sizes. Um, and then of course, all three of these non-generic plugs are marked with one quarter 32, uh, one quarter, and then 32, and one quarter 32. Uh, the printing size also varies uh, ever so slightly, but I think again that's a manufacturing issue just because the, yeah, from the way the printing gets put on. So uh, I have a feeling that much like many things uh, in the modern world, uh, all these plugs came from the same factory, but uh, the PK branded plugs are that are generic are going to be quality control rejects from manufacturing the plugs for branded customers. Um, and I'm, I have not gotten RCEXL also offers an Iridium plug. I haven't gotten one of those yet, uh, but I would guess that that one should be different because the electrode, the Iridium electrode is going to be different on the inside, uh, so they might be manufacturing those slightly differently, or it would have to be on a unique run, and so they'd have noticeable differences from a unique run. But otherwise, these three plugs were manufactured in batch, and they passed quality control, whatever standard was set at by the Horizon Hobby or RCEXL, and then 
the generic ones here are just the plugs that worked but couldn't pass the stricter uh, quality standards because that is how a lot of generic items work these days. Uh, it's the same factory, but they do better quality control for branded, uh, for some branded merchandise. Um, otherwise, these are all quarter 32. They all fit in the engines, uh, and I will be trying some of these branded plugs out and see what kind of results we get. Uh, the other thing I did uh, off camera is all of my generic PK plugs. Because uh, I do have a spare one. This is the spare one I had uh, that's not in an engine. Uh, but I took all the plugs out of the engines. I soaked them uh, pretty thoroughly to degrease them. And I have gapped them all to 018 of an inch. Because uh, that's the smallest gap that's recommended uh, for these plugs. That way... Um, whatever fuel I'm using, um, it's going to provide the best chance for the spark to go through the plug instead of uh, arcing on the outside of the boot. Um, and I reinstalled all these freshly cleaned plugs. Um, I also put a dab of super glue around the um, crimp here on all of the PK branded plugs to get that seal so they're not leaking. Um, I haven't checked out these branded plugs, so hopefully part of the quality control for branded plugs is that they get checked for uh, leaks so that they seal properly. Uh, but that is the word on these little plugs. And uh, yeah, if you're having issues with the generic PK plugs um, and you've got a handy hobby shop or just want to get one from online, uh, any of the quarter 32 plugs, they're going to look the same, but I am pretty sure they're going to have uh, a little better performance because uh, I'm, again, relatively certain that these three passed a higher standard than the generic ones. So, uh, yeah, that'll be this short video, and then... Next, we'll be playing with the um, generator box again.